This is the object that first inspired this series. Um, it's something that I found in Tynemouth Market, very close to me. Um, just in an antique store with a load of other rubbish. Um, it looks like a book, you pick it up, it's, uh, yeah, quite sort of weight to be a book, a little bit heavy. Um, but if you have a look inside, um, it's quite surprising what it is. It's a uh, correntator. What is that? Um, well, I could just about work it out from looking at it. It's uh, we've got pounds, shilling and shillings and pence. Uh, it's something to do with adding up money. Um, we've got some instructions pasted into the left hand side. Um, insert pointer and number required and move downwards to foot of column. Da, 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 da. It does addition and subtraction. Um, the way it does that, this here is a flap. I fold it up. Numbers are the other way around. Um, subtraction is the same as adding tens complement and doing the carry a different way or something like that. Uh, subtraction is the opposite of addition. Yeah, that's an easy way of saying that. Um, yeah. So uh, I'll just show how that works. Um, it doesn't have the pointer. The pointer should go in this little leather flap here. Um, but fortunately, I have access to paper clips, so um, here we go. Uh, suppose I've, I want to add it, uh, let's see, six pence. There we go, six, and so the thing at the top there now reads six. If I want to add on eight pence, oh sorry, that's shillings there, um, eight shillings more. Now I'll see if this camera can get this. The tracks are normally white. Uh, but now these ones are black, and that means that I have to move the cursor up. So I'll stick my cursor in 8, go up and around, and that uh, pushed the next digit along one. And I did my shillings a bit wrong. I'll see if I can do that again. By the way, to reset it, the most satisfying thing in the world is pull that out. So cool. I'll see if I can do that properly later on. Um, Okay, so my right hand now, hopefully it'll be a bit easier to read. Uh, 6p, pull it down. There, that's like shillings. And then 8 shillings up. There we go. That's 14 shillings. I think it's 20 shillings in a pound. Let's find out. So I'm a 14. 5, yep, it's still marked down. 9, and now 1 more. It means I have to go up. So let's do that. So all of the digits go back down to zero here, and I have to do my carry. There we go. 20 shillings. And what do I have to do now? Oh, I don't know. Zero. Yeah. So I can't do lots of carries at once. Hey, what do you know? So uh, let's see. I've got uh, half pennies, quarter pennies, so I can add... Sorry, no. What was it? Pulled down for three quarters, and then if I add on another three quarters, that should be one and a half, which it is. Another three quarters, that's two and a quarter. And another three quarters should be three p. Yeah, three d. So uh, it's a tool for adding up. Um, I can't think. Well, yeah, people are bad at mental maths. People have always been bad. So this is a little tool to keep track of things, you can just plug through, you know what you're adding on, you work from right to left or left to right, whatever, addition's commutative, um, and uh, add up some numbers. So just to get an idea of a real problem, um, I'll switch to, I'll have a look at an extremely old book, um, fortunately they were still using the kind, same kind of money back in uh, 1810, so I'll see if I can add up uh, all of these numbers and get the right answer. Okay, so uh, I'll reset the machine. There we go. Right, so uh, it's going to be hard to record this and show what's happening. So I've got five shillings, da, 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 five shillings, nine pence. Uh, da, 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 and three quarters. Okay, 
Next is six shillings, sixpence and three quarters. Six is black. There we go. Sixpence is also black. And three quarters should be black as well. There we go. So, what's that? Oh, that little half is not quite there. There we go. Right. Uh, 15 shillings. Okay, so now I have to add 15 shillings. So, uh, one, five, that white, yeah. And 11 pence and three quarters. So, 11 has its own thing. You notice that uh, the pence row goes up to 12 because it's 12p in a 12d in a shilling. I don't know. Uh, I've moved that a little bit. I was over to. Four. So that goes up and around. Three quarters again. Very unimaginative. Um, okay. Uh, Eleven shillings, ten pence. Oh dear. Eleven shillings and ten pence. And a half. There we go. Oh, I've done something wrong here. I've got a blank. Let's add zero. There we go. Oh, and I've got a zero again there. Okay, so I'm up to two pounds. Uh, one pound, please. There we go. One, three pounds. Three shillings and six pence. Three and six. Finally, five and four. Five and four pence. Three pounds, nine shillings and three quarters. Hey, that's the right answer. So we can do Mr. John Innkeeper's books. So this is a pretty cool object. Um, I looked these up. They were invented in Germany. Um, I think this one comes from around the 20s. They all seem to be around 1920s, 1930s. I don't know when the earliest one was. Probably 1910s, I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think, now, a German inventing this would have had a decimalised currency, I think, which would have made this a lot simpler. Having the shillings and pence... Um, makes it a bit more complicated. The way it works, um, I think underneath here are a load of gears and pushing these tracks up um, just turns them around and makes the uh, cogs move. Actually, I'll just zero this and how cool is that? I think that's just a, a peg pulling all these rows up. Pretty cool. So yeah, when I pull a row down, what's happening? Okay, it's just a big long vertical thing. So we need all this space at the top where it says Corentator for... I'm a chump and recording this on my phone so the video keeps cutting. Um, so yeah, it's fascinating. It's a nifty little thing. It's I can see people putting this into a satchel or a briefcase or something like that. Um, I bought it for not very much, but it's it pleases me. It's a really... It's got a really niche use, really. Um, or, I suppose if you're dealing with money all the time, you'd, that would be your main use of numbers. Um, so not so niche. Um, but it's a nice little mechanical calculator.